okay so this video will be a quick tutorial on uh, implementing a page object model in uh, selenium so we'll be looking at these two tests uh, that are really basic tests such as a uh, login and add to cart and what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be modifying these files so that uh, instead of uh, directly using this driver dot final element by id we will be using uh, page files to store these web elements uh, there and write reusable methods there and we will be accessing those reusable methods in these uh, test files so one thing to note here is that we're not using any test framework like test ng or junit hence so there are no assertions uh, there are just actions being performed so uh, the scope of this tutorial is just to explain uh, how to organize your uh, code in a way that it's using page object models so that's why uh, we don't have test methods we're using main so these files they run uh, perfectly uh, if i run this file test login it's going to run just fine yeah so it just basically logs in but the issue here is that uh, I've written this uh, element directly over here, driver dot find element by username, and I'm sending keys over here. So, uh, for instance, if I need to use this element in several other test files and in uh, test methods, so I'll have to write this repetitively. And what that will do is that will uh, that will make my code uh, unmaintainable uh, because because I'll be using uh, this locator repetitively and uh, that's what uh, that's a problem that uh, page object model solves for me it makes uh, the code more maintainable and reusable and it also gives your code better readability so that you know that uh, certain methods they belong in the login page file and certain methods they belong in add to card page file so now uh, let's start by writing our first uh, page file for our login what I am going to be doing is I will create a new folder over here, a new package that will be pages and another one for uh, the test files. I'll call this tests. And what I'm going to do is I'll just move these to the tests file folder. So now I have these uh, tests in my tests folder and now let's go ahead and start writing our first page file that is the login page and our class has been created so uh, the first thing that we need is a web driver so So in order to initialize this, I need to create a constructor for my login page and uh, this will have a web driver and uh, this will initialize the web driver. So any time uh, in any test file, when I create an object for this, uh, for this page, uh, my driver will get initialized, right? so that's the first thing the next thing i need to do is uh, i need to add these locators of uh, my uh, login page these are username password and login buttons so uh, yeah let's add them one by one so the first one is uh, the username that i need to add so uh, let me check it was by id username let me just copy this right and the next one was password so again i think it's by id and it was simply password and my last one was login button by id and this was a uh, login button So now I've added these three locators over here and uh, now let me write uh, the methods to interact with these locators. So first of all we'll have public void enter username. So this should accept a string uh, 
let's call this variable username val so this will be a value for the username that the test is providing it so uh, yeah we'll do driver dot find element and we don't need to say by id because uh, we've already find it here so by yeah this is username dot send keys and uh, use username val over here whatever the value you provided from your test file and we'll do the same for password string uh, let's say password well driver dot find element password dot send keys password well and then lastly we have to we have to click uh, the login button so login uh, sorry we have to click login button so this will not take any uh, parameters because it's just performing the click so driver dot find element uh, login button and just click it and I think yeah, I forgot to write return type this is void yeah so here we have completed our page file for uh, the login page and just for your information uh, if you're wondering this can be further optimized uh, by using page factory so that you won't have to write driver dot find element again and again it uses a find by annotation but for the scope of this tutorial uh, we're just uh, sticking to page object model and uh, we won't cover page factory here so now uh, let's go back to our login test uh, file and now what we will do is we will uh, modify this file so that it uses uh, the methods in the login page so first of all what i will do is i will import my uh, login page file and then what i'm going to do is i have to create an object for my login page new login page and what I will do is I will pass this driver here so now uh, an object for my login page has been created and now instead of uh, this I will just use the method in uh, the login page so login page dot um, I'll have first enter username and I will use this here right so now I can get rid of this and similarly I will do the same for password and for click login so now when I run this file it should run fine because uh, it's the same thing it's just that I've added page object model here so yeah it runs fine let's close this and uh yeah so this is how you implement a page object model it was a very simple example so this is our page file and our test file is simply accessing the methods that are in the page file and anytime i need to use these methods i will just create an object for uh, the login page and i will use the reusable methods without having to um, write them again and again repetitively so uh, this was a basic implementation of page object model for uh, the login page uh, the next test we have is the add to cart and uh, here the steps are also simple uh, it's it's actually really basic what it does it it logs into the application and it just selects the first item so let me first run this to show you what it does Yeah, it logs into the page and you can see uh, it ran very fast but what it does it is it uh, clicks this add to cart button right so this item is added to the card so as you can see that uh, we need to log in again and in many cases uh, we know that we need login 
we need to log into the application and then we're able to use the application so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, add a reusable method uh, for uh, login that has all these three steps so that i don't need to write um, the three steps again and again so uh, let's go to the login page and uh, write the fourth method here public void login and what this will do is it will take uh, two parameters such as a uh, username well and uh, password well sorry I forgot to mention string here And here I will use uh, the methods, these methods, right? So since it's in this class, I will say this dot enter username. Uh, username well. And uh, simply mm, this dot password. This dot uh, enter password and um, and add in a uh, password well and simply i do uh, here this dot click login button so what this would do is anytime i need to log in i will not need to uh, call enter username then enter password then click login i can simply use this method so let's go back here and uh, we'll need to import first uh, the login page here as well just a second yeah uh, pages dot login page and uh, yeah here we'll have to initialize uh, login page so login page login page new login page right and we'll provide here the driver and the new method that we've just created will replace all of this chunk of code login page dot login and uh, here i can provide uh, those uh, values standard user and uh, secret source right so that will uh, help me uh, log in and then what we need to do we need to add a new page class that will have the elements for uh, for uh, add to cart page right so this will be add to cart page right and similarly here I also need to have a web driver first and uh, the constructor And then initialize this driver now oh, I've misspelled the driver here yeah mm. yeah this dot driver and driver right so what is I, I only have one element here so that is this add to card button that is for the first uh, element so uh, this is its locator so i'll just copy this and i'll call this uh by add to card button right and uh i forgot the closing brace here yeah and uh, what I'll simply do here is I'll add a method to click this button, right? So public void click add to card card button. Right, so what it will do is uh, driver 
dot find element add to cart button and just simply click it and then when we'll go back here uh, we will import another uh, page that is add, add to cart page right so uh, and here we need to initialize this as well right and now uh, we'll get rid of this and we'll simply say add to card page dot uh, click add to card button so now i should be able to run this file as well yeah so it runs fine so that's it with the video uh, there was a simple explanation on how to implement page object model in selenium and if uh, still uh, there are any issues uh, you can ask them by adding a comment and uh, thanks for watching